I would also like to thank someone who is so gracious and welcoming to collaborate with us. I know he has a lot of work that needs to be done. I know that he's putting every effort forward to make change. He's doing a job that I'm sure a lot of us definitely do not want to do right now. It's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of grief that he has to deal with. It's a lot of struggle. And there has to be a lot of passion and thought and love put into doing a job, especially in such a situation that we're in right now when it comes to gun violence. So at this moment, I would like to bring up Cedric Huntley and thank him for all his efforts that he has done for us and all your efforts that you are putting forth in collaboration with Safer Communities for Justice with the police department, your staff, the whole entire nonviolence institute staff. All I can say is that we will continue to work together and I know that it's gonna be hard work, but with that one step ahead of the other, we'll get there. Thank you. Thank you for those kind words. One of the first principles of uh, nonviolence is nonviolence is for courageous, courageous people. And I think the people in this room, Pastor, uh, and everybody in here are courageous. And we have to be courageous to really address this issue. Pastor, you have practice. Uh, one of the steps is, first steps is gathering the information. Uh, you exemplify the principles and the practices uh, and the steps and the components of nonviolence. Diana, you are courageous. And I think that we the story here is, the story here is, see that, that, that web page that was developed right there? The story here is, and I, I'm saying this to the media, that's what you should put out. Because we need your help, the media, to put this out to the community. We really do. And if anything you're going to play is you're going to highlight that web page. So some of, of the families can get justice. So again, Diana, thank you for thank you for allowing us to be involved in in the work that you do. And collectively, collectively, we all, all of us, from the councilman to the rep to the AG Peter. You know, it's hard for me to call you Peter, as you know. <laughs> and to all the staff of the Institute, it's, it's, it's you that do, do the hard work. And collectively, all of us, all of us, and that we're pushing, we're pushing to connect the dots throughout this state. Not just in Providence, throughout this state. It is so important. And I appreciate all of you, so thank you.